Hi, I'm Ton Rose, editor of CPA Magazine, and we're here at the 2003 California CPA Show, continuing our accounting 2003 accounting trends. And I'm here with Mr. Stephen Coveri, who's uh, been a CPA for 30 years and runs his own practice uh, here in California. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and your practice and uh, the critical issues that face you today, Stephen. Um. I'm located in, in Torrance, California. I have a staff of uh, four, uh, four professionals and a secretary, some small potatoes. And uh, as long as we're on the topic of staff, uh, in answer to your question, my number one concern is finding and retaining uh, competent staff and training. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, I provide uh, CP to all my staff, and they're floating around here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm trying my level best to keep them glued to uh, the practice and keep them interested. And uh, that's, to me, the number one challenge is to retain. Because mm -hmm. once you get them, then you got to still train them. Right. And once they become valuable, you don't want them to move on. So sure. that, to me, is... The bread and butter number one issue. The number two issue, and it's just as, just as important in today's environment, is uh, the new rulings, the new regulations, the new pronouncements that are coming out from uh, various regulatory bodies, from taxing authorities to professional professional organizations, and now uh, the new uh, uh, this tax new, act. new tax act. Yeah. Well, no, the uh, the Tax Act, uh, but also on, in the accounting realm, auditing and um, oh, accounting the and auditing. Oxley problem, uh, sure. That's sort of an Oxley. Uh, mm -hmm. It's be becoming uh, a, uh, you know, it's starting to really assert itself mm -hmm. and is becoming more and more uh, a part of our lives. Um, and also what else it has brought on. Sure. Uh, yeah. Namely the... Um, well, I guess it's the bypassing of the FASB, and uh, essentially it's the uh, the government's, uh, uh, the uh, federal government's uh, involvement in uh, in the accounting profession, which we which I haven't seen in in my career right. in the uh, past thirty or some odd years. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something new, and we're going to have to get acquainted and uh, get used to. Right. Yeah. So, based on what you've seen uh, with your uh, terrific experience what do you see as the future for the CPA firm I think um, you will see rapid consolidation because the the business is becoming as, as you can see at this show more and more capital intensive uh-huh I think the I, I hate to say it but I I'm not so sure if the sole practitioners future is assured mm-hmm um, I see a uh, I, I see a possible end to the ability, even the ability to practice as a sole practitioner mm. uh, because of the amount of information that one has to deal with. Yeah. I'm not even sure if it's viable. Uh huh. That's, it's, that's, that may be a bleak assessment, but uh, um, you've got to be realistic. Sure. And people look to CPAs for their trusted advice, and so it's good to give I mean, reliable there will, advice. Uh, I think... I think uh, the sole practitioner will become a, um, you know, a, a specialist maybe as a tax advisor, or in, he might survive in some form. But the generalist, the person who um, gets involved in all phases of uh, the business, you know, financial accounting, uh, tax, um, financial planning, planning whatever. Valuation. I mean, I personally, I don't get involved with any of those areas because I don't feel I'm equipped. Uh -huh. I can't keep up. We, you know, I chose, you know, I know what my limitations are, uh -huh. and I basically uh, just focus on accounting, auditing, and tax, and not try to be a jack of all trades and, right. uh, and try to uh, insert myself into fields I don't feel comfortable with mm -hmm. or competent. Right. And any uh, final thoughts for the uh, CPAs who will be watching this video, Stephen? Any? Um, keep up with um, two things, really. Uh, you got you got to keep abreast of uh, of of the you got to.
keep your nose to, to the grindstone. You gotta you gotta keep up with um, uh, continuing education and technology developments. And uh, and I think the the other issue is uh, there are so many integrity is 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 the basis of this business. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think uh, ethics should be kept as a foremost issue in the back of your mind. Uh, you know, the, the, uh, the golden rule, you got to live by it. I, I couldn't agree more. Thank you very much, Stephen Covery, CPA right here in California. Thanks. Thank you.